I was going to go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings. You f***ing irritate the shit out of me! I'm only going to get this one chance. It's just a feeling I've got. Like something's about to happen, but I don't know what. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something. Hey, what's going on, peeps? Welcome! All my favorite things in the world. I'm pumped up today. Uh, to Gapsell Keenan, I believe this is 57. I can't believe you're doing 57 of these damn things. It's crazy. This one is near and dear, though. This one's a little different. I put out a call because we have a desperate need for SEO. Like, this is a part of our business we need. We know we need this. So I put out a call and said, I need an SEO partner. And People heeded the call, and we have a series of folks who are going to try to sell us SEO over the next few weeks, see if they can get sell it, and see if they can get to a place where we can trust that they should be our SEO partner and that they can help us solve the problems we're struggling with and get us to where we want to go. So I am super excited to do these. Our first, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, our first contestant or company or whatever is um, my man Gaetano Dinardi. Uh, Gaetano with a full-on full-on Italian name, uh, comes from New York, and I know him, so I'm excited because we, we he hired me once before, we've talked, we spent time together, so I'm excited to see what he does with this, but truth be known, I'm not going to go easy on him if he fucks it all up. So um, with that, welcome, my man, glad you're here. Thank you, Keenan. Appreciate you uh, having me on, and uh, I've never done something like this before, but I, I, I'm excited, and uh, let's have some fun. Good, 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 good. I love it. I love it. All right. So the floor is yours. Where do you want to start? All right. Well, let's let's I like to just kind of cut to the chase. So um, what I am trying to figure out pretty much right away is your current state of SEO, the impact or the magnitude of the problem. Uh, that's on me to kind of dig and find out and then how to get you to the future state. I just want to get right into that. So that's, Sounds like that, a great that's... gap selling, great gap selling approach. I love it. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, I may, I may prep, pepper in some process related questions. You know, I'm assuming that you have technical problems, uh, but I know for sure you have a business problem. Otherwise, you wouldn't have put this out there. Mm -hmm. So I need to figure out basically all this stuff, and okay. it's on me to figure that out. And so, um, if you could just tell me in your own words, you know, what is the current state of SEO, and from your perspective. You know, why, why did you uh, decide to initiate all of this and why now? Okay, there's, there were three questions in there. Which one do you want first? Um, let's start with the current state of SEO. Okay, so uh, from a, a technical perspective or in the weeds perspective, I'm probably not going to answer that very well. Uh, there are very specific questions that Brady is listening and we'll ask him and she will text me with the answers. But from a, a high level perspective, we are, in my opinion, we are – we are just not getting the organic um, search results that we need for the size of the organization and for the, for lack of a better word, the popularity of gap selling. So if you obviously you search gap selling, you search Keenan problem centric, we boom, we own those, right? But if, you're, if you've never heard of us and you're looking for a sales organization, you say sales training, um, sales coaching, best sales training, uh, sales training support, anything in our realm, we are so far down the bottom of the of the barrel that we just don't come up. So what does that mean? We're having we're not getting the we're not getting to the people who don't know we are who we are outside of social media. Okay, great. Let, let me just I mean it's not great, but let me recap. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's actually not great. Thanks, at all. man. I see that a lot, by the way. So, <laughs> well, that's great. After someone just told us something sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not great, but it's great that you understand that high level problem. So I'll just recap it for you. It sounds like branded traffic is booming. People know you, they search for Keenan, they search for gap selling, all that stuff Re pertaining to your brand, you're good. Google has basically figured out that you are associated with these things. Uh, where, you, where you are explaining to me the problem is non-branded search. Yep. That, so that's, we've established that. All right, yep. very good, very good. Now you said we're not getting enough organic traffic. What is enough in your from your perspective? In my opinion, we're not getting any. Okay, I mean, we're not might, getting any. Yeah, no, I'm sure if I ask, you know, if I dig into the numbers, I go into Google Analytics, I'm sure we're getting some. I mean, obviously you can't help it. 
but nothing that's discernible, nothing that I believe is driving the business and nothing that I believe should be commiserate with where we play in the space, the type of clients we've had, the growth we've had. I mean, it's still that whole space is still owned by, you know, the old school players from the 60s and 70s and 80s and, so, you know, et cetera. So, look, I get you can't own the word sales training overnight. Fucking got it. But there's got to be ways for us to, to get tr organic traffic around, at least it, uh, what's the word, other keywords around it and slowly but surely get it for some of that sales training in some areas. We, we got to get up there somehow. Understood. Now, um, you're smiling. Yeah, because I think I know where the, uh, there's a layer deeper to this. It's not it's not really just about organic, non-branded organic traffic. OK, OK. <clears throat> to me, what this sounds like even more is that the, the business problem is pertaining to your lead flow for your training and selling business. Say that, say that again. It, what, I'm going to make a, an assumption that it's about bottom of funnel intent keywords that are relevant to your business model yeah so you're not being found for things that you provide services for so it's not just about organic traffic but it's about the right quality organic traffic yeah it's, it's intent the yeah. intent of the uh, of the searches need to be closer to the bottom of funnel for you yeah well defining uh well i guess it depends how you define the funnel i mean i would have thought it's top of funnel but yeah okay i mean yes basically we went before leads we should we should be and want to be getting leads from people who have no idea who we are, right? Now we're okay with the book. Like if people buy the book and then come to us, that's great. Like that's fucking awesome. And for all we know, people ran searches or someone told them about the book or they ran searches on a sales book. It came up, kept selling. They read it, then they called us. So technically speaking, that's still they didn't know us but read the book. But still. I, I have no way to track that number one and no, no number two, when you run generalized search terms around sales training, sales consulting, sales, even sales growth, et cetera, we don't come up. So the only assumption I'm making is people are not finding us through search terms. Some do because, oh, my sales team fucking sucks. I got to fix this sales training or, you know, grow your sales team or best sales consultants. And we don't pop up. So we don't exist. Got it. Got it. So now that we've established that, Let's get to, to a bit of the, uh, I want to, I want to kind of try and quantify the impact of the problem. Do you believe that you are losing business to competitors because of this? Oh, 10,000%. No question. I couldn't okay. quantify it. Of course. hundred percent. Okay. Um, Donato, let me help you out. Let me help you out. I want you to stop and think about this for a second. Okay. Yeah, from your vantage point, what right? How do you, how how much awareness or how much do you think from a brand perspective, gap selling has grown in the three years since it's been out? Um, quite a lot. Um, I, I, I don't want to just throw a number out there, but I just know that it's grown a lot. Okay, but from a brand perspective, not from dollars in my company, my company's yeah. ASP, but from a brand perspective. So do you see, or when your circles or when you're on LinkedIn, or whatever, do you see gap selling thrown around with a lot of those old uh, or, or previous, previous sales methodologies? Not really, no. You don't? Okay. So I that's don't. a problem, right? That's a problem because I see it in some cases, but I don't see it in others, right? So the point being is... <clears throat> Gap selling is competing with Challenger, Sandler, solution uh, solution selling, spin selling, et cetera, right? And then you get on the line with companies that don't really have a methodology. But from a methodology perspective, it should be competing with those. But if people can't find us to know, it ain't. Understood. Understood. So <clears throat> there's a lot of different directions we could take the call right now, but what I would like to talk to you specifically about is like a bit about your process, your SEO process. Um, did you have a current provider that you're unhappy with or were you just doing it in-house? So we, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Everybody listening. Hope you're paying attention and LinkedIn stop showing the number of followers that frustrates me. Anyways, you guys are going to enjoy this one. So we hired an SEO company at the beginning of this year to the tune of 10, 
thousand dollars a month. We spent a lot of time with them up front. They sold this whole ROI concept, right? We understand that SEO is all about ROI and the ability to drive traffic to your website and convert those people into leads and those leads into opportunities and those opportunities into close, blah, blah, blah. They asked us our average deal size, asked what we are currently getting, all that. It was fucking brilliant. It was a brilliant sales methodology right up our alley because it's all about results. I don't give a fuck what you do as long as you get the results, right? <clears throat> and so it was 10 grand a month and they had this whole syndicate. Their whole argument was you have this whole syndicate of... Um, uh, of a uh, place they put our links. So they would write stories for us, right? And then they'd get those stories published all over their syndicate, which was supposed to create link backs, whatever that shit's called, backlinks. right? Backlinks, right? Yeah, yeah. All over the place. And not only did they do that, but then they said, look, there were three tranches that we're going to do. We're going to find those keywords that have uh, large searches, but low cost per click or something like that, some ratio in there. And we're going to find the best ones for that first. And those we should see a six month return. You should start getting on the first page of those in six to seven months. Then the next round should take about a year. And we picked a couple of bigger ones that were bigger. And you keep doing this for a year, you should get those. And then the big mama was sales training. And they said that could take, you know, two or three years. But I'm like, look, if we get the early ones, I'm good. Right. So after six months in $60,000, this company didn't even get one of the keywords that they recommended to the second page. I think we were getting a few hundred search, search you know, about three, a few hundred people per month in traffic from these on page, you know, page three, maybe late two. I think 30 was the highest we got. So I don't know. I think that's page three or the very end of page two or something like that. But nowhere close to page one. Nowhere close to page one. And this is important because I know other folks are going to listen to this when they come on. I get shit happens. This is why I'm pissed. This is why I'm doing this. Whoever's going to go with me, you better fucking be ready to deliver because I will lose my shit. I'm not going through this again. We said, hey, guys, we appreciate all the effort, but we're $60,000 in and we are nowhere close to where you said we should be for these keywords. So we're uncomfortable continuing to pay 10 grand a month to spend 120 grand in and still not be where we need to be. We're not seeing any results. This company, I'm gonna give you the name, few hundred impressions and six clicks from Brady. $60,000 for a few hundred impressions and six clicks. This company's name is Velox Media. Not even fucking afraid, okay? And so we said, hey guys, and I'm a, I'm a decent guy. I'm like, look, I get it, things happen. But we're so far away from what you told us I'm not comfortable that if I go another month, we'll get there or two months, we'll get there or three months, we'll get there. And I'm not comfortable paying $120,000 or a hundred grand in, you know, four more months to be in the same place and not be anywhere. So how can we fix this? And to cut the story short, they had no interest in fixing it. You know what they said they do? All right, we'll throw in one more keyword. Oh, oh one wow. more keyword that you can't get me to fucking rank for. And I said, look, let's talk to your CEO. This isn't okay. You've got me over a barrel. I've already wasted 60 grand. You're doing nothing to make me feel better that if I spend more money with you, I'm going to get there. I'd like to talk to your CEO. You know what they said? Nah, he doesn't have time for you. Wow. you want, it sounds like you want to cancel. It sounds like you want to cancel because we're not doing anything else. So yeah, that's why I'm here. I wasted $60,000 with Velox Media who could not deliver. And this is the worst part. Didn't give a fuck. Didn't give a fuck. All they kept saying, and everybody listening from an SEO perspective, all they kept saying was, we did our job. We wrote the articles. We posted them out there. These things take time. We're doing everything we said. And I'm like, that's why I'm willing to work with you. But if you think that I'm going to continue to just throw money at you and be in the same place, 120 grand out and not get anything, you must think I'm a fucking idiot. So there you go. There's my rant off my chest. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm pissed. But we still have to solve the problem because they didn't solve the problem. Man, I'm sorry that happened to you, first and foremost. That, that's bullshit. And um, <clears throat> it gives the SEO industry just a terrible reputation because of shit like that. So first of all, I'm sorry that happened to you. All right. Um, when, when I listen to shit like that, <clears throat> what it tells me is that they have just some shitty process. They're really good at selling. And then they just don't know what they're doing when it comes to execution. They can identify the right keywords, but they don't know how to go about actually doing the work. 
because if they did with a powerful brand like yours and you know website authority like yours, they would have been able to get the results. So in any case, um, where we're at in this call, Keenan, is I've, in my view, I've uncovered the problem and the impact of the problem. Are you uh, ready to go into some possible solutions? Okay, what do you think the problem is? The problem is that not only are you missing out on business opportunities because you're not being found for um, non-branded search terms that are relevant to your business, you're also waste, you've wasted money already on, on a company that made you a lot of promises and couldn't deliver. So mm -hmm. there's an emotional thing in your mind that's, that's real, what you're trying to uncover next about Ooh, your sure, next sure. provider is does this can this person actually do the work Can this person actually deliver can, if can this person actually deliver upon their promise what what's any different from the next company they're all going to say and say similar things sound the same how is this next company going to convince me that they're able to do something different and so we're at the point in the conversation where i'd like to tell you about my process and how i'm a little bit different than all that okay but what's the root cause well all right let's get to the root cause Let's yeah, through. come on, baby. Let's, you, let's you, you, know, you, know, simple. you can't convince me you're going to solve anything if you don't know what my root cause is. Okay, the root, the root cause, may I make an assumption for you? you I'm going to make, make an assumption for you. My assumption is that there is, whether it's internally at your company, yeah, it is. I'm going to assume that it is internally at your company. Why don't you ask questions? That's my opinion right now. Don't make assumptions. Take your assumption, turn it into questions, and validate the assumption. All right. Bet. Is there somebody at your company who's an ex SEO expert? No. No. Okay. Is there anybody at your company that would know how to identify bullshit from somebody trying to sell SEO? No. Is there anybody at your company that's ever grown organic traffic at a highly competitive level before? No. Do you believe that there's anybody at all at your company that- Okay, the answer is no. It's, it's okay. Fucking, so, okay, so now go deeper, go deeper. Come on, ask process-oriented questions and try to uncover what the root causes could be, not to picking the wrong SEO company, that's not a root cause. The Try to dig into the root causes of our current SEO problem. There's your hint. Cool. You guys are creating a lot of content. Uh, yes, not as much on our site. We could get better at that. A lot of content out on, on LinkedIn and shit, but not as much as we probably should on the site. How many uh, articles are being published a month on the site, more or less? I'm going to say 10. Give or take. It could be more. I haven't checked. We have a marketing guy who does it, but I'm going to say 10. All right. We're getting closer to the root cause. You're publishing yeah, no shit. You go. See? <laughs> we're publishing 10 articles a month. We have no idea if they're optimized or not. There's nobody at your company that knows SEO. So it's very hard to say whether or not these are targeting the right things. Okay. So why don't you, so again, I'm going to teach you here. Okay. Cause I know you, so I know where you're trying to go, but I'm going to teach you here. You, you made a statement again. So I said with about 10. What question should you have asked? Do you believe they're good quality or not? That's a self-diagnosing question. You, you, you just made a statement. Do what they get any doing? traffic? Uh, that's a good question. I, I don't know that's how much. I, the, I, that's a good question. I don't know. I haven't taken a look lately. So, okay. But you made a statement a second ago. You literally made a statement. You, so I told you what that was. And you said, okay, so you're, uh, you're not optimizing them. You're not doing this. So turn those into questions, man. And this is teaching for you, for your selling in the future. Turn that into a question. Don't make a statement. Turn that into a question. Okay, what is the process for creating content? Uh, either I'd write the blog post or we have a marketing guy who takes some stuff I've done off of LinkedIn and adds it into a blog post and then creates content about it or Brady does something. Okay, and how do you go about deciding the, the, the on-page optimization? Okay, great. Now you're getting there. Now you're getting there. The question is, how do you optimize for it? So right now, there's a tool we have built into um, uh, Hubs. No, not HubSpot. WordPress that basically tells you your score. And I forget the name of it. I could look it up, but I don't want to take it off the camera. Okay. Is it like Yoast SEO or something like that? Uh, it's not Yoast, but it's something like that. And it, it has a thing on the column and you give it a keyword and then it does some little spin thing and it comes back and says, okay, 
here are some ways to optimize. It gives you a score, 10 out of 100, 20 out of 100, 30 out of 100. And then it says, hey, you have no links. Then it says you didn't use the keyword properly or it's too long, but it, it gives you all that. And so me or whoever's writing the post spends way too much time trying to fucking get that little needle <laughs> to, <laughs> to get at least above 60. I think that's our goal here. Get it above 60 because we've never seen 100. Okay. <clears throat> are you aware that even if you were to get 100 score on the, with that tool, that it still wouldn't mean that your page is going to rank? No. Well, I didn't say, well, no. I, I don't think it said rank, but I guess my assumption is SEO optimized. Even if it has the correct set of metadata, even if that tool tells you it's 10 out of 10, it has, it has, no, it has no real world meaning. Because when you go into the Google search results and you actually compare what you are about to publish versus what's out there, there are so many factors beyond what this tool is telling you that that implicate uh, rankings that will okay. that will determine whether or not your page will be able to compete for a given search term that will determine whether or not your page can actually rank. So it goes beyond what that tool is telling you. That tool is just giving you the very, very, very basic, basic stuff. Even even just covering that is, is not even close to being enough to compete in today's hyper competitive SEO world. OK. All right. That's good to know. I had no idea. All right, great. So <laughs> I know we only have five minutes left and I'm, I'm struggling to determine how to use the rest of these five minutes. Um, I could so tell what you- else, What else do you need to know about our root causes? Anything? I, I get it. I, I, I get it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of itching to get into- Everybody's into, <laughs> itching to get into it. Okay. To, to get so into wait, it, so, yeah. So let me tell you what you don't know. Okay. You didn't ask anything about our current website. I already knew because I did my research in advance that you migrated from um, a sales guide to sales growth. Okay, so when you have our blogs a lion share of traffic because Velox never set metadata on the rest of the site. <laughs> okay, so why didn't you ask that question? M metadata on the site has nothing to do with organic organic traffic growth. Really? Okay, now you really got me confused because I got other people telling me just the opposite. This, so, this, so this, yeah, like this is just the, this is just like, how do I explain this? All this is doing is like tying your shoes. You don't even have an outfit on. <laughs> Putting metadata on your website is just like tying your shoes. It's like, you're going to get, okay. this has, this has very little to, to do with anything. This is, this is. Okay, but if, if I, okay, all right. So what you're saying is not having metadata on a website has no bearing on our organic search. Very, very, very little. I'll, let me tell you okay. what matters. Let me tell you what all matters. All right, tell us what matters. What matters is that the content that you are creating has to be at least 10 times better than everything else that's out there. Now I know 10 times better is, is subjective, but what we're looking at is things like usefulness, comprehensiveness, um, is it the most recent because recent things sometimes matter given on, depending on certain search terms, the, the way I would explain it to you is this. If you're creating a guide about the Simpsons, you need to be including Homer, uh, Maggie, Bart, Springfield, Mr. Burns, all these related things that would, you would expect to find out if you're learning about the Simpsons. If you're missing some of those concepts on a page, your page is less likely to rank because it's less comprehensive the chances of somebody not finding out what they want to know about a certain topic are greater if your page is less comprehensive and therefore it's less li likely to rank. So content quality, content velocity, the velocity at which you're publishing content on the site, it sounds like that that's not a problem for you. But if it's not, we're talking about quality right now. If it's not as comprehensive and better than everything else out there, you have no chance of really competing. So metadata is the very, very like least important thing. The content quality and comprehensiveness is the most important thing. Understanding the search intent is also another important thing. Do you need a blog post or do you need a landing page? Um, and then, you know, backlinks is another thing, but I think a lot of SEO companies try and oversell on backlinks. They're important, but you can still win with authority of your brand plus the best quality content out there and then just a small amount of backlinks. You can also leverage internal linking strategies to make up for uh, a lot of that backlink stuff that's needed. So basically what I'm, what I'm trying to get to is open your mind to an alternative way of doing it. A lot of companies are yeah. just kind of stuck Working. on, <clears throat> cool. A lot of companies are just stuck on like, yeah, you know, we'll do the keyword research. We'll do the on-page optimization. We'll make sure the metadata is right. We'll make sure you have a hundred percent score in this tool. 
you know, we'll build backlinks for you and then you should see results. Well, you need to actually go much deeper into that. You actually need to search sales training into Google, compare what's out there and figure out how do we do something that's better than this? How do we create something that's better than this? Why is Google rewarding this website as number one? What is it about this page that is so great? And you have to really try and reverse engineer that and then come up with a strategy to beat that in a more tailored manner. So going this route, going this route of like, just we're going to publish a fuckload of content and we're going to get a hundred score on that tool is, you know, you're not going to get very far doing that. Okay. So two things for those listening, what Gaetano just did here that was excellent is he educated me. Everybody listen. He told the story, but more importantly, he educated me. He actually walked me through a, a different approach and explained uh, or educated how content is more important than the SEO stuff. Now, I, that may not be true. It may be true. Like I have to take him for his word. And as I talk to other people, I will listen to what they have to say and I'll bash all that together. That's part of my quote unquote decision criteria um, that I'm going to go through. But what he did here was he taught me something. So folks, when, when you're listening or you're trying to sell somebody, your ability to teach them something about the space they're in builds massive credibility. So you're looking at your clock. Did you hardwire yourself to a call right after this, Gaetano? No, we can we can continue. <laughs> I was going to say, if you did, you're an idiot. That's all I had to say. <laughs> all right. So now you've got my attention, right? Uh, let me see. I, Gaetano's hypothesis is focused on Google's recent helpfulness algorithm update. Um, let me see. Uh, but we haven't heard how he's done for the other companies and organizations. So now he, this guy's talking about um, uh, something proof. It's, it'll come to me in a second, right? So I'm not too concerned about that at this stage, okay? Because I don't want you selling to me. I want you to help me believe that you can solve my problem. So now that you sold me on this concept and I'm intrigued, here's your opportunity to tell me what do you guys do then? If you're not just going to optimize my page, or you'll optimize it and like tell me what you do so I can understand how your approach addresses the educational component you just gave me. All right. So mm -hmm. my, my approach is, um, I'll tell you an example of what I've done for a, a similar company before. So Pipedrive, I used to lead the SEO team there. Okay. <clears throat> and we've determined from, uh, from a business standpoint that ranking for sales management is extremely important to the business. So we decided to make that a top objective. We need to rank for sales management. We need to we, uh, rank at all costs. We need to do whatever it takes to rank for sales management. So we did a something called a skyscraper project where all we did was focus for three months straight on ranking for sales management. We didn't really do anything else. We just focused on sales management. And I, I led this process. We built the perfectly optimized page. Perfect. We did all the analysis on what the competition is doing. And, and we, and we uh, kind of like gap selling, uh, you know, you can apply gap marketing to this, find the gaps in their content. Why this, this content is ranking number one, but there's gaps in it somewhere. How can we exploit those gaps? And so how can we create something better? So we went and created something better. Then we built backlinks to it for three months straight. And so we outranked Wikipedia and we went on a, a massive link building campaign. We used all my connections, all the connections of people we knew to get guest posts and have people do favors for us and insert links directly to that page. And finally, we kept making little tweaks because we, we were using a lot of different on-page optimization techniques and tools. And finally, after enough social promo and backlinking and optimization, we became number one for that uh, keyword, but it took three months of hard work. Okay, so that, so that was for one page or one that, blog post. Yes, that was for one guide, one page that ranked number one uh, for sales management for Pipedrive. But the reason why it took so long is because that was a hyper competitive term. High mm -hmm. volume, mm -hmm. uh, short tail, meaning only two, phrase, two words in that phrase, sales management. So generally, the longer the tail, the easier it is to rank, the shorter, the harder. Yep. So we spent three months ranking on that. And that's one approach I could apply to sales growth because okay. you have so Brady just Brady just sent me a note. She cool. says, I'm not super convinced here. Your first objection. Our content is quality. We may not always get the fully optimized settings, but we aren't publishing pushing a bunch of BS blogs like everyone else. She said you're not pushing a bunch of BS blogs like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> From my experience at Sales Hacker, we had the same problem. Where we have industry thought leaders who are subject matter experts in their field. 
they are giving you the best quality information out there, but guess what? They don't know SEO. They don't know how to format content for how SEO needs to be structured in a modern day setting. They don't know how to structure header tags. They don't know how to um, put the, the information in the correct order. They don't know how to write okay. it. Okay, so, so you've just somewhat, as I'm hearing you, you've just somewhat contradicted yourself. You basically said it's about creating quality content and the meta, inter, meta information is important. Now you're coming and say, well, it kind of is important, right? So which is it? Let me clarify, sorry about that. <laughs> SEO has to be written in a certain way. So we're not talking necessarily about metadata, but we're talking about the style of writing. You need to be, so a lot of people that are subject matter experts, they tend to write in a way that's not consistent with how people want to consume content. Okay. Large, chunk, large chunky blocks, um, not, not organizing their, their thoughts in a logical and sequential manner. Sometimes, okay. you, and, and you need to determine, this is why SEO- So analysis, guys, watch this, watch this. So I gotta be quick, right? Like okay. I wanna teach you how to be quick. You, you, I, I think you're onto something, but from a coaching perspective, you, you're still wired to wanna tell people stuff and you really haven't gotten really good as uncovering it and, and trying to make this about me and ASG and Brady, right? So you said you went to our site, right? Did you take a look at any of our content and be like, look, here's a perfect example. You wrote this really cool article on, but the way it's structured is a shit show and that's hurting you. Did you do that? I did not do that. I, I, like rule number one in gap selling, current state. I believe that SEO companies better than anybody else has an amazing opportunity to see someone's current state without opening their fucking mouth to the client, right? And from there, they can come into the meeting, right? And they can start drilling into root causes that they witnessed in real life, right? So you could have said, so Keenan, I noticed this post. Can you walk me through who wrote this post? How did you guys decide to write it? It's in, and walk me through what you guys were intending. And oh yeah, we want to do this, we do this, we do this. And then you can say, how's it ranking? And I'd go to Brady, I don't know, Brady looking up. Brady look, oh, we got this many views. Let me tell you what I think about this post based on how SEO works. Great topic, great content, but you're not getting the value out of it because boom, 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 boom. And I see this in all of these posts. So now when you told the story you just told, you could keep coming back to, for instance, as you guys, you went said, oh, people have, they, they don't section it out. Look, you went six paragraphs before you actually broke. Do you see what I'm saying? So that is a problem and your header tag it does it did nothing for this and it like do you see what i'm going in like you literally could have convinced me you're the biggest expert in the world by taking my own world and breaking it down okay yeah fair that's that's fair now i'll tell you most seo consultants will do that after an initial kind of intro call so it sounds like you wanted to see that right from the get-go i want to see what from the get-go just a quick example of like no no i didn't no i didn't you're not listening when you got to the place where you were trying to do my root cause, you could have in, incorporated what you saw into the questions. So listen you. very closely. Everybody wants to sell. I am teaching you to diagnose. So you go out there and you see the mistakes that I'm making. You keep that to yourself and you ask the questions you kind of already know the answer to. So Keenan, roughly how often are you posting? I don't know, about 10 times. Okay, last month I saw you only did six. Is that common or is that just a, or is that just a slow month? Oh, that's a good point. Is only six? Right? Yeah, maybe it's less than six. Good, I got that. Keenan, then how do you decide what topics, who writes them, et cetera? I answer that question. Okay, great, Keenan. So I saw these are the topics I saw most recently. I think these were good, but I didn't think these were good. Let me walk you through why, right? Then you could have said, so walk me through, how do you guys decide the, to, uh, on the SEO and the content distribution and the titles and all that? So, well, I don't have a clue. We use that little thing on the right. It tells us what to do. Okay, so you got some areas pretty good, but these other ones you're missing. And let me explain why. 
Do you see? You're, do you see how that's a conversation with me? I'm the fucking patient. You're the doctor. You know, when's the last time a doctor said, "Well, you know, I had this patient that came in last week and had this cancer, and what I did was this." You can, do, I, hey, doc, stop. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck what you did. This, do I have that same guy's cancer? Is that what you're telling me? Do I have lung cancer? Oh no, you don't have lung cancer. You have early stage skin cancer. Well, then why are we talking about that guy? Right? You see where I'm going here? Yes, you know your business. Yes, you've gotten credibility with me. But the truth of the matter is, why are we talking about him? You can take your x-ray with me. You can ask me questions. Talk about me. Talk about me. Make sense? Yeah, yeah, fair. Fair one. Okay. Are you sure? You look a little beat up right now. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a good learning experience. Um, you know, I, I, to be honest with you, like I, I, I normally would do stuff like that. But I figured that this was... Uh, not the appropriate time to like dive into your shit. So, yeah, but it's okay. Bad decision. Okay. Yeah. Because of any time it was absolutely the time to do it because I am all about, you should know this current state. So what am I doing? You're an SEO. What am I doing now? How am I doing it? What's the impact? What are the results? What's the root causes? What's the process? Like, right. So anyways, with all of that said, here's what yeah. I'm going to feel. You, you definitely earned a second meeting because I'm intrigued about this whole content piece and the content strategy. So we will have a second call. Um, it won't be live. You've earned your second call to get a little more information and then share what your strategy is and how your company does it. But from a learning experience, my recommendation is get out of sell mode. I got to tell this to every salesperson, stop trying to sell me and getting me to say, yes, I want you and start trying to diagnose so you can diagnose so well, they say, it seems to me, Keenan, there's a lot we could do here to help you. Would you be open to a following call for us to dig in deeper and how I can address these very specific issues that you just shared with me? Got it. You like that's, that? that? Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Okay. That's really right. good. That's kept going. All right, Gaetano, but I am looking forward to you, you, you. Look, you got me with the education piece. So <laughs> hopefully I can give you a little to help you in, in, in increasing the the opportunities for you yeah no i feel like i improved like tenfold just after talking to you on this call so thank you for the learning experience awesome. that's my goal awesome right. i love when i can help thank all you. right baby uh thank you very much reach out to to page to set up a call for me and brady to go through this more with you because i really am i am super excited to find the right partner i mean i can't tell you how badly i want to find the right partner so you got it with that hopefully it's you. all right baby all right thank you kenan thanks all right you Peace got out. it you got it all right bye all right everybody I hope you found that valuable. Um, at least it was valuable for me. Um, so thank everybody paying attention. We got a bunch more of these coming. If you're an SEO company and you want to sell us and you think you're the partner we should have, DM me here at LinkedIn and set up a meeting and come on, get sell Keenan live. And let's see if you can solve our SEO problem. All right, everybody, you know what I say? I love you until next time. Peace. I'm out. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something.